Um, Denisha has, uh, has a pretty interesting question, though, to kind of shift topics here. Jake and Fate, what do you think about the ladder scene when they go across? Uh, the editing of it shows Mindy at, at first, and then sometimes it's like Anika's character. Who do we think dies in that scene? Fate, what do you think? Really curious because it does. Like, so there's the one shot where Anika's standing in the in the ladder area, and then there's another shot where it's Ghostface, and it looks like Ghostface just took out Anika. Is that like a clue that Anika's Ghostface? Maybe, but no. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, I wonder. It it has to be two different shots. It has to be. Um, although they did the same thing in Scream Five's trailer. Remember with Billy, she sees Ghostface in the in the mirror, and it wasn't Ghostface; it was Billy. Yeah. So I wonder if they just edited Ghostface over for a reason. Maybe it's somebody else, and they just want us to. Maybe it's a character we're we're gonna find out or something, or maybe it is Anika, and you know, so she gets stabbed or something. They just don't want to show that as she's like walking across. You know, maybe she gets stabbed, gets on the ladder, starts trying to sprint across, and Ghostface starts tilting it, and she falls off and dies. Because I mean. You get enough to know she falls off that ladder and dies. So Some, either somebody has to, man. You know, yeah, like has to. Well, yeah. the thing is that so it's either Mindy or it's uh, Anika, clearly. So it's one of those two. Um, if it was Mindy, that'd be crazy. Imagine if that's how Mindy dies, dude. Like, ooh, that'd ooh. be vicious too. And like yeah. to have a, a like a character of that caliber die in that in a scene like that, it would be really shocking, I think. But yeah, she's so, trying to go. She like just is about to get to the end, and Ghostface tilts the thing, and she falls, and like Chad's got to like watch her watch his sister die. Yeah, like, dude, that's vicious, man. Oh, that could be yeah, that could be a rough scene. It's got to be two se It's got to be two separate filmings though. Like it has to be, be uh, um because. I mean, well, I guess technically not because Mindy probably gets across. At least that shot with Ghostface and Anika, that has to be two separate things. Either they just layered Ghostface over her like they did with Billy in the trailer or or it's uh, or it's two separate shots. Like I said, Mindy gets across, thinks Anika's dead. Anika gets up, starts walking across the ladder. Ghostface pops up because I could see that like Ghostface is like, I'm not going to get on my ladder. So Ghostface pops up maybe toys with Mindy a little bit. Mindy gets across. Um, then you go and, you know, Ghostface starts walking away. Anika gets up because she thinks Ghostface is gone, starts coming across the ladder, and then boom, here comes Ghostface back in. She's like halfway across, walks up, ladder starts shaking, and then boom, she dies. That's that's the, <laughs> that's the only way I see that making sense. Like, that yeah. makes two separate shots, like I said. Okay, Greg makes a hilarious point here, which I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I would not hate this at all, <laughs> saying, I think whoever falls off the ladder falls on Samara Weaving and they both die splat. Okay, hear me hear me out on one second, because Greg, I love this. That would be insane. Imagine the opening scene, right? It's Samara Weaving. She gets a phone call. She's walking around with all that garbage and stuff, and she's like, I don't want to answer your stupid questions about scary movies. I'm so... If Samara Weaving is watching this, that was a terrible impression. I'm so sorry. But... <laughs> let's say she walks outside and she looks up and it cuts to a title card. How disappointing would that be? Oh, dang it. 30 minutes into the movie. <laughs> we, we get this scene and then it cuts to Samara weaving. She's she walks outside. You don't hear the conversation. You've already heard it. Fucking Mindy falls off or whatever. And they both crack their skulls on each other and they both just die. Dude, I would lose, I would be losing my mind. Like, I would be going completely insane if they did something like that. Because it would be like, ah, oh, you know, the disappointment. And then the immediate, like, 30 minutes later, <gasps> what? I'd be losing my mind. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Splat. Two splats. Two for one, baby. And then we get the, and then we get the, the splat bubble. You know, like, the <laughs> comic books, the splat. she falls and you get the car cartoon splat bubble. It's listen. It's ridiculous, but that's so fucking amazing. That would be amazing. I would, I would not expect it. that at all. Do it. Uh. I agree with you, Killjoy Fate. <laughs> I agree with you, Jake. Decided, <laughs> or or uh, Killjoy Jeremy, as, right. as I should say. Right. If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen my movie, go check out Red Right Hand over on Killjoy Jake. <laughs> it was pretty ass, bro. <laughs> You know, hey, it is what it is. It, know, it's a shit movie, but, you know, I made it on a true stream budget. 
Yeah, why? Who makes movies for five thousand dollars? What? What an idiot! Uh, <laughs> Carrie's here saying uh, that sounds a little uh, cartoony for me, but hey, it would be great for three D. Oh, oh, you want to talk it about making things for three D? All the all the blood and everything and the splat yeah and you just have like her body coming towards you and then the splat just comes up. <laughs> oh my god, Mindy like falling at you in three D and then yeah. she splats like, on the no. concrete. That'd be insane, man. Oh my no. god. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if Mindy doesn't die in a one v one ghost face challenge with Kirby, then I don't think you can kill Mindy. <laughs> like you That's have fair. to. Like you have to, like you have two characters that are basically cut from the same cloth. You got to have them have a showdown against each other. And then the winner, the winner walks, the loser dies. So you know what's okay. crazy though? And, and, and this could be a transition to our next segment. So what would be crazy is that if Kirby is Ghostface, um, like, and she and Mindy have this like 1v1, maybe Kirby already knows all the answers. Because she's the accomplice to Ghostface. So she already knows. So, like, maybe they're this, like, crazy, obscure questions that, like, no one should know. But Kirby knows all the answers because they've already researched it. So, like, you know, Mindy's, like, it's a question of, like, who was the first person ever to die on film? Like, da 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 And they're, like, how am I supposed to know that? And it's, like, Kirby's, like, you know, it's whatever, Walter, whatever, whatever, in 1933. And she's, like, how do you know that? Like, that would be just, like. That'd be a dope scene. And then at the very end, Mindy gets slaughtered. You see her. She Ghostface just kind of looks at Kirby. Kirby's like, oh, we think like, oh, it can't be Kirby. And then at the end, boom, it's Kirby. And it's like, yeah, I knew all the answers. That's why. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like a, a, a Saw style kill for both of them where they have to like outwit each other with horror yeah. movie knowledge. Like it's like, oh, they're tied up in chairs. Ghostface is going to kill them. Whoever gets the, the next wrong answer or something like that. I, to me, that's like I feel like we've been wait. I've been waiting for that scene since I watched the original Scream, like something like that. And now you have two of your Randy characters in this yeah. movie. I mean, perfect time to do something like that. It doesn't have to be exactly what I just said, but something yeah. along those lines where they're like kind of competing a little bit, and they're like, "Oh, oh fuck you!" You know, I'm gonna win. Yeah. I'm, I'm staying alive. Screw this. That's that what I'm be saying. Insane. Yeah. I think that'd be a missed opportunity if that doesn't happen. But. What do you think of uh, what do you think of the Betty nods? The what? Have you seen the Betty the Betty nods. What do you think? Have you seen oh, the Betty the nods? Betting nods. Yeah, uh, I saw that. Like Gail is way up there, which is shocking to me. Like I was like, what? <laughs> no, so Gail's Gail's an, Gail's an underdog. Gail's so, an underdog. Okay, let me pull this up because I haven't. So, I, so that was Gail, the only thing I remember from it. So Gail is plus. So the way sports betting works is minus means you have to pay that much in order to win. So like think of it in hundreds because that's how sports books work. So for example, if you see something that says minus 500, the minus 500 means you have to pay 500 to win a hundred. So that means that's the biggest favorite. They're the oh. favorite to win. The plus oh, 500 plus 500 means uh, you have to give a hundred to win 500. So Gail is the least likely to be Ghostface. I thought okay, um, I read that the other way around then. Never yeah, mind. So Gail is the least likely to become Ghostface. The what's really interesting is Kirby and Sam are like number two and three on that. Cur okay, I'm I'm, I'm I got to throw this up on screen so everyone. Okay, can, I was gonna say I gotta pull it, yeah. it up my I gotta pull it up myself because I was gonna say like yeah like if you look at it. So here I'll wait for you to pull it up on screen. So there. <laughs> yeah, which is no no it's fine. But that's that's what I think is crazy. So like, uh, so like, um, Anika's character, uh, Gail, uh, Mindy, and Chad are like the ones that are least likely. So yeah. So look. So as you see, so Mind, so uh, least favorite is Gail at plus five twenty. So that means Gail is the least likely to be Ghostface. Second behind Gail is Mindy at plus five ten. Wow. So that means they're saying Gail and Mindy have no chance. I actually think Mindy could make a lot of sense, especially with like the deleted scene that you had in Scream 5, her just like, uh, you know, like just laying there and playing dead the whole time. You could make a huge argument for Mindy. Next is Chad at plus 465, uh, which I don't think he's going to be Ghostface because just because I think he's like, I think he's going to be the new Dewey, right? Yeah. Um, yes. Then you have, yeah, so then you have Quinn, at plus 235 
And then you have Laura at plus uh, 200. So basically saying that like they could, they most likely that like the only way that they're going to be ghost faces is if it's a fake out death. Uh, Anika, no chance. Uh, and then yeah. you start getting into the minuses. Uh, Tara, Tara's interesting because Tara's a plus 200, which means that that's basically even, almost even money that Tara is going to be, that Tara is going to be a uh, ghost face. So they're saying that there's a very high chance Tara is going to be ghost face in this movie, which I think is interesting. But then detective Bailey is, is even money at minus 100. So minus 100 just means you pay a hundred to win a hundred. Uh, so that's even money. You always get your money back too, though. Again, just for people that are watching, you can't actually bet on these. It's just, it's just fun. They did this for screen five too. Um, but yeah, just for people knowing, because I know a lot of people have gambling addictions like myself, and I would love to bet on this stuff, but you can't bet on it. Um, but then we start getting into like the the most likely to be Ghostface, and number one is Jason at minus five seventy five. That's that's Spider Man, right? The, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. They're yeah, they're going off of names here. Like they're they're thinking Jason because it's New York and it's uh it's a slasher movie. Yeah. It's it's not gonna be it's not gonna be him. I'm it makes no, we right see now. him dead in a tub. Yeah, yeah, so, we we see him dead. It's not gonna be him. Yeah, so Jason makes zero sense. Um, and then uh, besides Jason, then you have Danny, which that's who Jake thinks is, and I I, I actually agree with him, but that's who he thinks is most likely to be Ghostface. Yes. So you have Jason and Danny uh, as like big favorites, but the top two, mo or I, let's go top three. The top three most likely to be Ghostface in order is Jason, Kirby, and Sam. Wow. That's so okay. J that's shocking, man. Yeah. So Jason, Jason is minus 575, which means he's the largest favorite Kirby's minus 500, which means she's the second largest favorite. And then Sam is minus 450, which makes her the third largest. Favorite. That is crazy. So they are saying that like those three have the most likely likelihood of being Ghostface in this film. I wonder what they use that for. I, you know, usually it's on data. Usually it's on information that's out there and they piece it together. Although it is just a fun, it's not like you can't really bet on it. It's just for fun. So I wonder if, I wonder if the studio, like if the studio told MGM, like, hey, make these three characters, like if MG, if, because usually the sports books, they have, you know, uh, uh, line makers and stuff that are making all of the, the lines for characters and da, 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 or not for characters, for uh, betting sports, right? So you have the line makers that make it based on statistics and numbers and math and all kind and all things like that. This is, there is none of that. So I wonder how much of it is just like the sports books actually like getting information and trying to use the most educated guess or how much of this is like the studio saying, Hey, just make, just make them the killer. Because I think Richie, if I'm not mistaken, Richie was like a big underdog to be ghost face. Amber, I think was up there and I'm trying to remember who it was. That was number one. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head because it was a while ago, but I know it was like, it was like, it was somebody like, it was like Vince, I think, or something. Like that. He died in the very beginning. <laughs> like, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So I, I was, I know. you know, I, I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty dead set on Danny. Uh, just because I mean, like, listen, the name, he, it, it's, it's right there in the name. I feel like if you're going to make a badass ghost face, why not reference uh, an already established badass ghost face in the video game, you know, I'm like, there you go. There's your reference in the name. It's got a Halloween last name. Uh, and he's also played a hooded psychopath on another show. It, it, man, I, it just, perfect. It, it, it's going to be him. I don't know what to tell you. Like I'm, I'm pretty sold. Be. I'm pretty sold on Josh Sagara, but I think there's going to be more to it than just he's the killer. You know what I mean? He's going to be a very different type of killer. And that's to, that to me is what's going to be exciting. It's not even, it's not going to be the reveal. It's going to be his motivation and what he does throughout the, the runtime of the film. So instead of just having, you know, little five seconds of joy, it's going to be the whole movie is going to be joy and different and, and, and yeah. joyous. Well, we do see words. that one scene with Ghostface <laughs> and, um, and Jason Segura's character, he's there. Uh, like, but in that's, the not, scene, right? that's not, that's uh, not the cracked face ghost face. If I remember though. It's the latter scene. Is the latter scene cracked face, ghost face? I think it's regular ghost face because you only get to see him when he comes out. Um, 
comes around and he like drops his knife and no the, I have no side. I have no doubts I, I really believe Danny is too so I, that's, I really I don't know if that's I don't know if that's it I gotta find that I have a screenshot somewhere I but yeah I, I, have to, I, I, have to find like, I absolutely agree and think that it's very likely that it's uh Danny also and that and look just because Danny's wearing the cracked mask doesn't mean that somebody else can't you know does he own the rights to the cracked mask is that <laughs> is this your bush is He's crack face, bro. My my man's yeah. crack face. <laughs> I can't. I have the screenshot like with the Anika one that I'm looking at right now, but you can't tell. It's too like far away. The can't the one. If... It shows you him like really quickly, like really quickly, and he mm -hmm. like throws the knife down. I'm like ninety percent sure it's just the regular white mask. I mean, um, you may be right. You may be spot on. But then, yeah, Carrie makes a good point. It is the it is the cracked mask ghost face uh, in the bodega. We see it a few other times too, and I also feel like there's a lot of misdirection in the trailer. They kind of make it seem like some scenes are the same, and some I, I don't think they are. Like, yeah. uh, like this this whole sequence I'm feeling is not the same as uh, like the ladder the ladder thing. Like, I, I'm trying to find. There's another good picture that I'm like. It's like all of them all hanging out, sitting together, and. Uh, they're looking at the door or whatever it looks over and like you can see light outside from the door and it's nighttime when they're going and crossing the ladder. So I think those are two different scenes. Um, I wish I could, once again, I just don't have those screenshots. I wonder how many, but... I wonder how many, uh, cause like even the scene with the ladder, like when Ghostface shows up, like, and granted it could just be, he's a good actor. Uh, I mean the Danny in the movie, but like Danny looks, looks like genuinely surprised. Like there's that one scene in the in one of the more recent trailers that uh, that you see um, like ghost like Ghostface and then you see uh, Danny uh, Josh Segura's character you see him and he's like what the, like almost like oh like which makes me go like so if he is Ghostface either he had a really good reaction and he's playing dumb really well you know um, or he's just genuinely like surprised that like wait a minute like i'm ghostface and so who the hell is that you know what i mean like, like it could okay. be our dueling ghostface theory that's been yeah, going around that's something that people have wanted for a long time now granted again it could just be a good accomplice right i mean like look at you know think of your favorite line ever holy shit it's ghostface like, uh, <laughs> yeah right that was, like, that was good acting but uh, that's so funny though man cody said uh when do you think kirby will come in act one two or three what are your thoughts jake I, i'm gonna say like act two i i do agree i don't think she's gonna be there the whole time um because I, I remember someone saying that I, I can't remember who but it was announced that she would have a more limited presence in the film mm -hmm. uh i, I was kind of you know i'm not gonna lie when she got announced i was expecting that i was kind of expecting that to be the case um so yeah I, i'm saying second act Maybe like I, I could see us following Gail for a while in the film too, and then maybe she comes out and like is with Gail or something, uh, middle of the movie. Because I I don't ima I'm not imagining that this whole movie is gonna be like a chase scene, you know, where it's like just fast paced the whole time. Like we are gonna have little breaks I think with the characters, where there's not a ghost face running around trying to murder somebody. But uh, I I think those scenes will be few and far between, but they still will be there. And that's that'll be a good time to introduce Kirby, give us a little scene with her. It'll be nice. It'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, I think we'll, I think we probably get Kirby middle of Act One, if not Act Two, and then I think I think we'll get several doses of her. Like I don't think we're gonna get like a big, like ten minute scene with her. I think it'll be something like you know here's, here's like a quick minute or two. Here's some quick dialogue, you know, where she meets everybody. She's like, you know, we have something in common. I've been hunting Ghostface killers and. Blah, blah, blah. This one's just different, right? You piece together through all the trailers, you basically get that entire conversation now. Uh, so I think we get that scene with that conversation. Then you get the shrine scene, and then you probably get like some other like little random scene. And then Kirby either lives, dies, or is ghost face. That's probably one of the, th that's probably how this will go. Um, and then we do see Sam with Kirby's gun. So that kind of makes it one of that kind of could. I mean, either Sam, Kirby's dead and then Sam gets the gun, either Kirby gets wounded and hurt really bad, so she gives Kurt Sam the gun, or three is she's ghost face and Sam gets the gun. <laughs> 
I K- Kirby is I'm like 90% sure she's going to die or be like our like oh she's alive at the end you know but like you're going to think she's dead I think for sure at one point I don't know how you feel about that but I, I'm pretty I think they kill I think they kill her I really do the more that like yeah. I'm saying things the more this is going the more I think like damn like she's 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 going to die like that's what this is going to be Yeah 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 I'm it's going to be sad but I'm I'm okay with it personally. I I think like you know it's it's gonna be cool. I'm I'm sure Hayden is just super happy to return and probably get oh, covered yeah. in blood again. You know, <laughs> so I, t- if it was me, I'd be super pumped. So, uh, but Jennifer yeah. Armstrong is throwing ten bucks in there. Thank you so much, Jennifer. We Thank really you. appreciate that Thank support. You. Saying just popping in to say hi and show some collective love. Have a great Friday, you two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We here. We here. Making it happen. Making it we, Thank you. We, hell yeah, hell yeah. We appreciate it, Jennifer. Thank you so much for the, the big super chat. <laughs>